Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. We are back again, joined here by Daniel Sean. Excited to have him live on the Zoomcast and podcast. And he's the owner and coach from Emotional Intelligence Mastery from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Welcome back to the show today, Daniel. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you, Jill. Good. It's excited to see you here. And it's literally see you here on the Zoom. <laughs> it's exciting not just to do a regular show. I like putting the face to the voice and vice versa. Uh, so new time listeners and viewers, tell us a little bit about what it is you do. Excellent. Awesome. I help people get breakthroughs in their life immediately and have some epiphany moments towards stepping into and living in their full potential. And when we talk about full potential and stepping into, what would you say, how do you describe what you do? Could you share? It's a little bit about going through the psychology of the mind, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It's about, it's a little bit of there about understanding our trauma, a little bit there about how we can overcome it quickly. I don't think that should be such a vilifying word, but as some people hear that word and they want to run the other way. However, uh, it, it has helped me so much in my life uh, to transform my own life. So it's getting through obstacles, barriers, beliefs we have about ourselves, yeah. and that we change those beliefs and come into, you know, what might people say like a better version of ourselves. We become like the best go-getter, you know, in the way that we want to show up in the world. Got it. Um, what did you have in mind for us today? What did you kind of walk, I want to walk us through and explain to your audience? Well, let's go through a couple of body hacks right off the go so I can give your audience some, some visceral value here on the visual uh, that I can demonstrate quickly because I've been a body worker for five years. So I understand the body pretty well. I think it's a really vital thing that we understand our body somatically uh, what we're capable of and as we keep growing so let's do one right off the go which i honestly of all the massage clients i've done now of course i'm doing mostly coaching this is nine out of ten people i tell them this so it's this spot right here this spot is everything to do with our smartphone muscle and our keyboard muscle so for some people, this is extreme. They have chronic tension in their shoulders. So what we do is we just put pressure on this part here. It's like a little wiry muscle. And if I put about 30 seconds of pressure in here, and it's better if someone else does it, but I'll do a quick demo. I'll just exaggerate that. And that's just 20 or 30 seconds later, then I'm going to actually like pull that out and my hand will feel like it will want to shake for so your listeners anyone that gets tension headaches migraines tension in the shoulders doing this for six to eight to ten hours a day we get into like a zone after about 15 20 minutes of just watching the screen so we need to have those little reminders to just stand up take a sip of water do a mini stretch but if you did that and you got tension headaches or migraines, within two weeks, if you did that for one minute a day, the intensity of the headaches would start lessening. The frequency of the headaches will start going away. Within two to three months, you probably wouldn't even be getting the headaches anymore. So that's how powerful that can be. It's like a really, uh, they call it a chi point, but it really is just a little wiry muscle that carries all of these fine little muscles all up our arm and all up to the neck. I got a question for you. I have, it's not carpal tunnel. I've been back and forth to the doctors. My third cortisone shot. I've done the uh, uh, CAT scan. I t they told me I have my tendons degenerating here and in my wrist. And I know it's from texting, typing, being on the computer, being on the board. What could you do for this specific area and wrist? I mean, is this part of it too? Or yes, it is a little bit because the muscles carry here. up there. Yeah. Yes. So inner form, form and like the ulnar section, what they call, yep. then you want, I mean, you can do self-massage. If you had a tiny bit of oil, then it gives you a tiny bit of glide. Yeah. And essentially it's like, it helps if you have really strong grip. Maybe it's your partner or maybe someone else, but you my can. Son, my kids. <laughs> They're six and eight, but okay, I could teach them. Yes, like, but actually, like, 
if you have a little bit of oil, then you can like run it down and actually twist your hand as you're doing that. Okay. You're going to start to release the tension that is carried all up here in the forearm and in this. So now another little magic spot is, is this one. So in between the two tendons of this, if I push this acupressure point, you're going to feel that tension. Do that again, 30 seconds okay. each side, just once a day. And that's it. You know, I don't have big asks off the go, but these little things will start to pay off. It's usually because we sometimes come from like that instant gratification place. You know, yes. just, we just want like the ailment to just be cured right away. A little bit of work just daily, one to three yeah. minutes okay. on that very specific point. And, and we will learn literally to cure and heal and optimize our own body. And that's that's better to me than than most pharmacology and, and most things that we can do holistically for ourselves. Awesome. All right. Good to know. Thank you for that. What else? Yeah. What are some other body hacks that you want to share with us? Well, let's do one. You know, I want to do two that were just big ones that are almost undeniable. So this other one is is a body hack. It's a little bit of a mind hack. And okay. what are we in the era of? Distraction. <laughs> Everything that will pull us out from the present moment, especially socials, especially screens. So we're watching the screen, or let's say we're doing the socials. There are two really good ways. One way is a little bit more, and we have to be a bit more diligent, just meaning setting a timer. So when we go to that place where we're like, oh, I've got a few minutes off from work. Oh, I just finished my workout. So I'm going to look at my phone for five, 10 minutes. Sure, that's fine. It's when we usually get into the monotony, like the lizard brain has started to take over a bit. <laughs> and now it's been 15, 20, 25 minutes. I'm sure we'd like to get back to the other things we need to do. And we are kind of can be an addictive culture that way. So first way, set a timer. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. As soon as the timer goes off, it's like, oh, do I want to hit that snooze button again? Oh, okay. I need myself another three minutes to scroll. That's one way. The other way, and it's going to sound a little bit funny, but actually just saying, I'm looking at my phone right now. Here I am scrolling, looking at my phone. And if you just remind yourself a minute, two minutes, three minutes in, then at the third minute, like if you remind yourself every minute or every three minutes, at that second or third reminder, you're probably going to say to yourself, I should probably put my phone down because I'm sure I could be more productive doing something else. So it starts killing the doom scrolling and gives you just an enlivened aware a moment. And so the setting the timer would be for someone that's really wants to be hypervigilant about not scrolling. The subconscious reminder of that is like, yeah, I know I probably could be using my time a little bit better. So I'm going to use that scrolling or what I'm looking for, for purposely looking out for the influencers. Maybe I want a little laugh break, right? And so I'm intentionally trying to use what I'm looking for on the socials for something that's giving me an insight or literally like laughter or happiness, an insight to my money psychology, anything that's gonna improve my life towards education. And of course, I think we all need like a tiny little window of entertainment. I'm sure we all work really hard in our lives. So those are, it's a cool thing about reminding ourselves not to be in the lizard brain. And that of course, in some moments we are going to be in for a few minutes. So that's a little reminder about the, the scrolling as we come into the winter. <laughs> People might be a little bit more on their screens. Interesting. Yeah. And it's funny because now I get this, I, I never realized I get like this whole screen time thing and it shows you how much you've been on your phone. It's like an automatic alert on the iPhone. And I'm like, I've been on the, what, four hours this week. Are you kidding me? Like, that's yeah. like crazy. The times like they, they add up and, and I'm sure maybe, maybe in our day it didn't even exist. So we were I playing know. outside a lot of the time we were, you know, going our educations and trainings and, and it's, we need to kind of incite that kind of natural passion 
for our youth yeah and for adults to to just like live back in the moment and want to be in present as possible ideally got it okay perfect thank you so much what else do we have by the way let's remind our listeners daniel how we can reach you excellent so please just go to my website www.danielshawn d-a-n-i-e-l s-e-a-n dot c-a you can streamline there um through shows the 12 week breakdown of my program for men or women or anyone who identifies as masculine or feminine and you streamline into booking a 45 minute complimentary session where i'm going to give you an insight an emotional win an action-based win so that you can take massive action in your your life moving forward so that 45 minute session for at least till the end of this year is is on the table and i think people would gain a lot by at least doing that one session with me and then seeing if we're the right fit to work together. All right, good to know. What else is on tap for us today? Well, I'd like to bring forth the idea of these sessions and what people think that they can be getting out of them. As you can tell, I'm I'm a little bit more on the passionate, excitable side. And for men, if you're have killed a bit of that natural excitement, the vivacity for life, then it's like you're, you know, kicking a dead horse a little bit. But that is literally where we come from is the sense of our passion and our excitement, the enlivened state of how we feel towards life and how we're living life. So for women, this is all to do about healthy sensuality and sexuality. For men, it's their heart. I know it mm-hmm. sounds a little cliche, but literally, like really? for men to be good men in their heart, to speak what they want into existence, to go for it with their actions, um, to kill inactivity and inertia and laziness. It comes literally from our heart, like literally from our passion and how we we give that and how we want things in life and go for it see we were slightly conditioned and taught wrong to not go literally directly for the actual things we want in life or made to feel like we are wrong for doing that for men this is a big thing and it is about partially of course their own sexuality yes a lot of my work is like all of our body and how we understand sexuality career finances and relationships. So if they learn how they can speak more from that place, women can feel them more literally in their heart. They're going to have more inner confidence, more charisma, more like grounded presence. And for women, (laughs) it doesn't incite or evoke anything more out of them than for men to be highly present, to not escape to not avoid, to not be corrupted in who they are or be greedy, you know? And so this is a big proponent about why I'm also open. I coach both men and women. I'm good a lot with women as well, because I understand on the empathic side, I'm a father. I have a 19 year old daughter, so I can understand on the side for women a little bit what they're going through and that they have a lot more opportunity in leadership these days. And that's a really good thing. I honestly feel that a lot of men have corrupted their sense of leadership and have not treated others the best when they are rising in in terms of financial gain and in terms of their financial freedom. So for men, getting them in their heart, asking more for what they want, going for what they want. And the one big piece for everyone that I coach or teach is I truly believe everyone has one thing they're either living it now maybe a little bit half-assedly they're working their career or job or they want to do the one passionate thing on the side and i believe every single person has one of those things so i'm either helping to them to discover and uncover that again or for them to live more for that passion whether it's art dancing singing musicianship sports athleticism the things that move our body that we love to do, whether it could be already in our career, 
So that's something that I help people with. It's like the one thing that they dreamed of doing as a child, but now as an adult, they think that they have to like be all the different other things rather than doing what they truly wanted as a dream as when they were a child. And that's a lot about uncovering our psychology. And let me ask, I mean, you've been doing this for how many years now? Well, I've been a body worker and breath worker for five years. This is my first year in coaching. So I've learned a lot and I've taken on a lot. Um, and yes, I never people. met a coach. I've known a lot of coaches that specialize though in this body work and breath work. So this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. Cause it's like the key to that is our body. You know, the key to that is that a lot of women have body dysmorphia. We are obsessed culture with self-image. I'm not saying don't look good. Yeah. Look good. But at a, at a point where vanity starts to take over, it is starting to give us discourse in our personality literally so part this part about this psychology is that we are literally rediscovering the innocence of our childhood and so that brings us back into how we actually our perspective of the world so that comes through a lot with being able to share eye contact um being having that self-confidence in our body, in our, our coordination, you know, for me, I'm a drummer. So like, I'm literally in the natural rhythm, you know, like people say, walking to the own beat of your drum. Like I've learned how to discover that in me. And that just means that you're, you know, you have a uh, coherence in your brain and in your heart that is somewhat connected. And that's another big thing about the body, which is, I'd probably say about 70% of people are trapped in their mind. Just meaning that they go to their brain to try and figure out all their problems, but that we won't get very far with that. We'll be able to figure out like logical solutions, but we won't have those emotional courageous moments and the risk taking it takes to be like fully healthy in our body, which is why we should be really prioritizing our health and our diet. So body awareness is huge. All of a sudden, now you can be, you know, the star on the dance floor. <laughs> you, you, can, you can attract really positive, good attention towards you by being really healthy and vital in your body. So that's why I'm, I'm a huge advocate about and also believe in the alternative therapy of massage, which some people consider to be like, well, it's like physio, chiro, you know, um maybe an osteopath now massage like i i just put it up there right as much as you going to get an adjustment for your neck because care and love and devotion to the body i honestly think should be felt from human to human once a month as a bare bare minimum we need touch and we need connection with each other um and this is how you also even learn to have affectionate bonds with your friends as adults <laughs> which some of us don't have this is why the core relation between body somatic awareness and trust go together like it's just like glue so how much we trust our own inner confidence means that we trust ourselves we trust ourselves that we are essentially coming hopefully from our purpose, from a mission, from a vision. And that ideally we want to elevate others as much as possible. So the body is the key. I cannot underestimate that. Then the body helps accentuate unlocking the psychology of the mind because we're willing to look at ourselves deeper. So if that makes sense, there are so many different parts of our body and many of the parts of our body don't ever get touch or care. Think about that, which is like, the abdomen, where we carry all of our organs, our vital organs, is how our body is functioning. So even that one, like in the evening, I will put my hand over my abdomen to optimize digestion, blood flow. You just rub a hand like, you know, if you're doing that for your child to soothe them or over 
a Vicks vapor rub, you know, over the chest, maybe you're just doing that for yourself for self soothing, self nourishing and self care. Yeah. Why not? Why can't we? Yeah. Use that and use some of those benefits. I have a six and eight year old, right? So mine are a little younger, but I remember that Vicks. I still have the Vapo uh, thing in their room in the closet. We haven't used it in a while, but I love that smell of Vicks. Reminds me as a, as a kid. <laughs> Honestly, like your, your son, those are some of the most pivotal moments that he will actually remember yep. as he becomes young adult and adult. Those are like the best, incredible, sentimental bonding moments is yeah. he will remember like my mother rubbed Vic, Vicks Vapor Rub when I was having a chest cough or I was having mm -hmm. a cold yeah. and it literally cured and ailed that. Yeah, that you're right. only partially comes from the Vicks Vapor Rub. That mostly comes from your incredible touch, touch in which you're feel, giving yeah, to your son. The love of it, yeah. Yes, the love of that and, and what it is, how that's literally giving him confidence yeah. to, to love himself. It's all like very correlational. So yeah, it's it's a big thing with touch, self-soothing, self-touch, self-massage. And here I'll give one little last one here, which is a big one, which is control. And we control in the neck and control is a lot in the side neck muscles. So that's just like, you know, some little self massage. You're watching a show or something and, and the husband or partner or boyfriend or even the children, mm -hmm. you can will some some of that love reciprocal touch back from them as well, which is just, hey, can I get, you know, five minutes each? We'll do an exchange and yeah. your shoulders will will love you and, and the neck will those neck muscles will not want to hold on so much, which again massaging 1200 people uh, 50 to 60 percent of people have control issues in their work or in their wow. family right and that's can be from a bit of arrogance or attempting to control without giving love that's why that happens so if we're controlling in the neck it's like everything's tight don't do that go there mm -hmm. do this for me okay you know rather than trying to command that from a place of compassion huh. All right. so this is this got into a lot of the somatic massage mm -hmm. stuff which is really great because as your audience can see i've taught them three incredible moves they can do for themselves uh, this one i'll just do the last reminder i know we're running out of time is this one so it's That's 30 seconds of pressure mm -hmm. and the the key to this move is why it's a little more effective when someone else does it is when I go to pull it out, I should not anticipate when that's going to happen. That's all. But if I do it for myself, of course, I know I'm going to win that pull that one out. And that's it. And my hand will feel like it wants to shake. Why it wants to shake is it has a crude chronic tension in the forearm and in the hand um, that we need to start alleviating or we're going to be one of those migraine people. And that's not fun at all. I know a couple of people that suffer from migraines and it is absolutely debilitating. So that's the key for this today in the Zoom. <laughs> and I really appreciate your time today, Jill. Thank you. Well, Dana, remind us how we can contact you and how does it work to work with you? Beautiful. So as people can see, I have a few different ways how I help them. If they said, hey, I want one of your self-massage sessions, then we're going to spend that whole session and I'm going to help them with cues in their body. If it's towards purpose, vision, leadership, confidence, that's what I teach. Um, and so it's www.danielshawn.ca, D-A-N-I-E-L-S-E-A-N.ca. You can book a session right away just by clicking one of those links and I give you a complimentary 45-minute session. Got so it. I believe people will get an incredible amount of value by us just having a conversation, as you can see, what we've got out of this got it well thank you so much pleasure having you here uh and looking forward to the next time we get to do the same thing thank you thank you so much Jill. i got i got some work to do and i started thank you so much for this i'll let you know how i'm feeling next time we speak okay <laughs> it was, it was feeling great yep yes. and i'm gonna get the sun to do that one thank you and i got the oil <laughs> thank you 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay. 